All right. Something I've been wanting to do for a while is make a little video of my equipment. As you can see, it's not exactly brand new. It's uh, the pads are early production, uh, 1995 Coho 500s, same model as Patrick Wall wore when he played his last half a season with the Habs. Uh, it's been on my bucket list to try and get a set of these along with the gloves for quite a while. Now I just need to get the stick and a mask and a pair of pants and we're good to go. Um, something that I learned in my researching is, as you can see I got two gloves here, the uh, the prototype models which Wall wore, and I managed to find a prototype glove here, had this logo. Now it has the regular Coho Revolution logo, but also has a circular uh, pattern around the outside. It's blue, the little blue, white and red Habs colors. And Wa's equipment had that on the blocker, the pads and the glove. And this is how the production models looked with uh, the points being the outside. I'm going to go back to here just so you can compare it. It was round on the outside. It still had the points but they were they had the circle around the outside. And the reason I've got two gloves here is, well this is the first one I bought. This is the first part of the collection that I managed to track down. It's uh... I'll give you a second here. Alright, here we go. It's in pretty rough shape. I found it at an arena one day. Guy gave said give me 20 bucks and she's yours. So he planned on throwing her away. Um, a lot of the little nubbies on here are missing. That's one of the things that made these gloves famous. Still has all the ones on the cuff here, but in the palm they're gone. Uh, something I'd like to do with this one is get it restored. Uh, get the white lacing in it like Wah had on his. All the lacing on his was white. And as you can see the Velcro's worn out, so I've used a bit of hockey tape on there, but I'll get it restored. Hopefully that won't be an issue. Now here's the uh, my latest one. This one's a little better shape. Um, got a lot more life than it. It doesn't get quite so many stingers going through it. We got it on eBay for 45 bucks. Um, and this one is, uh, as you can see, it's got the the production uh, emblem on it. And other than that, the only real differences, so far as I can tell, between the early trappers and the later trappers if you look on the nose of it here there's whatever it just looks normal on on these ones and I know it's on the ones that wall wore too they had these two extra little holes I'm not quite sure what they're for perhaps a machining uh, something to do with the machining but yeah I really like these gloves they're a little bit heavy but uh, whatever especially this one here being in good shape don't get much coming through her just not quite sure. I like the break on this one. The guy that had it before me wasn't a big fan of having his glove close all the way. But this one's in good shape. As you can see, it's still got all the little nubbies in it. All she really needs is a good cleaning. And like I said, I'd like to get the lacing changed on it. But yeah, overall, they're both in pretty good shape. And then next is the pads. They're, uh, no, they're, they're not the 33s that Wall wore, although his I'm sure weren't actually 33s they were probably a shade bigger but that's what the tag said and uh, also another thing that uh, the game model versions that Wall War didn't have was this patch it was just blank kind of a I kind of like it on there but if I ever get my equipment redone I'll probably go for the replica look and one of the things that tells me these are early production is uh, this line here between the coho and the revolution uh, on uh, the later models these ones aren't the prototype they're just first year production they had more of a design like this on there just to keep more in line with the pad and uh, yeah again I really like the pads they're really light I think they're lighter than the 560s I used which were a really good pad, but yeah. Anyways, the pads are the newest addition to the fleet here. Uh, this is this is the second piece of equipment I bought. It was a blocker. Took a little doing to track it down, but managed to get one. And again, Waz didn't have this patch on it, and it had the uh, the full round logo. Other than that, this one's the same. Uh, it needs a palm done in it. 
but something I noticed I'm kind of kicking myself for not buying it uh, on eBay I found a couple years ago Patrick Waz Avalanche version of this blocker the one he wore in his first full season at the Avs and it looked exactly like this the colors were uh, black here and burgundy here and said Patrick Waugh right on the thumb here other than that she was completely uh, identical to this one she'll need a little bit of love in this one before long but put a palm in her she'll be good and that's my 570 mask it was black with a chrome cage up until earlier this week I got a little bit of paint and, and did her up myself nothing fancy but gets the job done but yeah so that's the Coho 500 uh, Revolution equipment set same as WA used if anybody has a set of the sticks or even one of the sticks from that season I'd like to like to buy them off you